During this interview with retired USDA biologist Francis Mangles, which you can find on the internet, it's um, under the title Retired USDA Biologist Francis Mangles on Geoengineering. It was an interview he did in 2012 with John White. He mentions that he has been testing the pH of his lawn since he moved to the property um, he's at in California in 2003 and it was 5.5 but in 2012 it was 6.5 a tenfold increase in alkalinity about 15 minutes into the interview he talks about the pH of the rainwater and how it increases after he sees geoengineering activities taking place like for example he sees jets flying overhead spraying aerosols in large numbers and he said that the pH of the rain is normally 5.5 but it shoots up to about 6.8 after geoengineering related spraying into the atmosphere. Consequently, I decided to measure the pH of the rainwater in Mongray and um, bought a pH meter, had it calibrated and, um, and I took it out yesterday for the first time and measured the pH of the rain and again um, I measured the pH of the rain today two days in a row and on um, both days it was flickering between 6.7 and 6.8 so I would say it is probably around 6.80 6.7, it's flickering between 6.7 and 6.8 that's what it did yesterday found this book, Environmental Chemistry at a Glance, by Ian Pulford and Hugh Flowers at the local library. It was published in 2006, and it includes a table on page 48 of the composition of rainwater, and the data it shows is from 1971. No mention of aluminium, barium or strontium, as you can see, this shows the average chemical composition of rainwater. In addition, it mentions on page 48 that the pH of unpolluted rainwater is approximately 5.7, which results from the ionisation of dissolved carbon dioxide. There's quite a big difference between a pH of 5.7 and 6.8, the pH of the rainwater that I tested yesterday and the day before. So what could it be that is causing the difference in the pH from what should be the pH of unpolluted water and the water here? I think we can get a clue from the rainwater tests that have been conducted by Hills Lab on the rainwater here that show aluminium, barium and strontium are present in the rainwater. Interestingly, while Wangarei has had rainfall on the 19th and 20th of February, neighbouring regions, I understand, have not. And I heard from a friend who went up to Mariwa that the rain that we've been getting over the last couple of days stopped there and it was dusty. Rainwater tests conducted in this region have confirmed the presence of aluminium, barium and strontium. This lends support for the notion that the pH of our rainwater is elevated owing to contamination due to aerosol material that has been put into the atmosphere for ongoing geoengineering operations, including the manufacture of droughts.